Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at how to fix a screen flickering problem on Windows 11. I've just got back from a holiday and basically there was a flicking going on at the bottom of the screen. It's like a little glitching of the graphics here. I did record it, but it is not showing up on the screen here, but I could actually see what was happening on my screen here. So I'm going to show you what I did to resolve the issue. It is a known issue on Microsoft. I'll leave a link in the video description, which you can see what happens. It basically leaves little graphics lines along the bottom. So I'm going to be using a display driver uninstaller, DDU for short, and uh, we're going to be downloading it from their website. So let's go ahead and download this. Now, what this is going to do is remove the uh, graphics driver and completely remove all of the remnants left behind. Now, this could be due to either some sort of outdated graphics driver and because I've not been here, there might be an outdated graphics driver on here that's causing this issue, or it could be some sort of glitch from Microsoft, and I think this is going to be the best approach for it. Now, you can do this if you've got other sort of glitches happening on your machine, uh, whether it's to do with some sort of graphics. This will determine whether your issue is software-related, i.e. graphics driver-related, or whether it's to do with your graphics card itself. I'll show you the full process on how to test this yourself. Now, before we go ahead and run the program, I'm going to check for Windows updates. Windows updates is important because if there's Windows updates that are going to fix this issue, then you want to make sure you update Windows. And of course, there is some updates here because I've been away on my holiday. And again, these have accumulated a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and run this in case it was a known issue uh, to Windows 11. And now they're going to roll out the fix for it. By, by these updates it might not be the case but it's always best to get these downloaded and installed and updated on the system so i'm going to go ahead and let that come down and then we'll restart the system and then once we get back to the desktop we can go ahead and run ddu and remove the graphics driver and put in a brand new one now i could just update the graphics driver but since we know there's an issue with uh, Windows 11 with this uh, graphics glitch on startup, I decided to go ahead and update uh, the Windows updates and then remove the graphics driver and completely put a brand new one on. So let's go ahead and go back to the update section after I restarted and you can see it's fully updated. So we know our Windows updates are fully updated. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back to where we've got our DDU all downloaded. It's already downloaded into our downloads folder i'm going to open up that folder and extract uh, ddu and it will automatically extract it into the same folder so that's what we're going to do here so i'm going to go back into this folder here and we can now run display driver uninstaller so let's go ahead and click on this this will open up a little uh, tiny window here it's going to say that you really need to run this in safe mode and it's important that you do it from safe mode because it will run better and it will remove all of the drivers that could be running in the background. So it's always best to do this in safe mode. So let me quickly show you how you can get into safe mode uh, to run this. So what I'm going to do is open up the search box and go MS config inside here and click on the system configuration. Once you're in here, go to boot and then put the check mark in safe boot and you can put it into network if you want. Click apply and OK and restart your system. And this will force the startup to go into safe mode with, with minimal or networking, depending on what you want to put this into. Once you've finished all of your task, you can basically go ahead and restart the system and take this check mark out and it will go back to normal. OK, so just reverse the process. I'm going to do it from here because I won't be able to record the screen here. So select GPU and I'm going to be selecting NVIDIA. But there is other options available like AMD and also Intel in the drop down here. So depending on what graphics uh, card you've got, this is a 2070 Super in this machine. So we're going to be running the clean and restart uh, method here, which is highly recommended. Once you click on this, it will start the process of uninstalling all of the graphics driver from your computer. So let's go ahead and click on this now. Now you're going to be in safe mode at this stage. I'm already uh, at the desktop, but I'm just showing you from here. You should really be doing this from safe mode. It will create a restore point for you. Uh, so let that create a restore point, And then it's going to start to remove all of the graphics driver from the computer.
So let this go ahead and do what it needs to do. It does take a fair bit of time. You may see the screen go black occasionally. That's pretty normal. And once it's done all of this, it's going to restart your PC and start updating uh, the computer uh, during that uh, process. So just be patient until you get back to the desktop where we are now. Now, if you wanted to, you could download uh, your graphics driver before you use DDU and keep that in the DDU folder. So once you've used the uninstall feature of DDU, you can then go ahead and click on your driver straight away and it will go ahead and install it for you. That's probably going to be your best uh, method right there rather than downloading it after the fact. The reason why I say that is because Windows has a habit of installing drivers for you uh, and I don't like that method because sometimes it can install an older driver and you can end up getting into this issue where you have a constant problem. Uh, it doesn't happen often, but it can happen, and I've seen it happen quite a few times. So I've selected my graphics uh, driver here for Windows 11, and it's the RTX 2070 Super. Yours might be an AMD uh, driver or an Intel driver. Just download whatever one you need, and you can always add that in the DDU folder, which is very useful. Once this is down, we can go ahead and get this installed on the system. So it's a pretty big file, it's around about 700 megabytes or more. So we'll let this download. And once this is downloaded, we can get it installed. So I'm just gonna let this finish off, and there we go. It'll open it up here, and now we need to uh, install our graphics driver. So let me just quickly uh, drop this box down here. There we go, and we'll let that install. So it's gonna extract the driver and install it. So I'll quickly right click on the start button here and go to device manager. Inside device manager, you will see there is a Microsoft basic display adapter driver in here. And that's because uh, it hasn't installed any driver for it. And that's exactly what we want. If you already see an NVIDIA graphics driver in there, it means Windows has downloaded that for you. And I don't like that method because it can cause an issue. So you can either install the NVIDIA graphics driver or GeForce Experience together or just the graphics driver itself. I'm going to be doing the express recommended installation of this. So let me just go ahead and start this off. Now, remember, you could be using an AMD system or an Intel-based uh, graphics driver. And if that is the case, you'll be seeing something different at this stage for yourself. You'll be seeing an AMD screen here or an Intel installation graphics driver screen instead of NVIDIA. But the process would be the same for all of those. So let's go ahead and let this install the graphics driver package here for this graphics card. Make sure you're using the correct graphics driver for your system if you use the wrong one it won't let you install it and again just make sure you're selecting whether it's a, a desktop or notebook or something like that these are different you may see the screen go black a little bit here that's normal that's because it's setting it all up it's going to go ahead and install all of the required uh, drivers for this system if you don't use the experience part you can just go ahead and put the graphics driver on instead so now that's done we can now go ahead and open this up and you can log into your account here. So if you've got an account already set up here, you can set this up and sign in. If you don't have one, you can already create an account here as well. And this will give you access to all of the settings here. You can also set up automatic driver updates in this area here. So it keep your drivers updated and that way it will stop you having any sort of issues. If we look in the device manager now by right clicking on the start button here, Go to display adapters you'll see that our graphics driver is now in installed successfully and i can tell you once i've done this i'm just going to do a quick check of the graphics card to make sure the graphics card is functioning properly and i'm going to be doing this by using firmark now firmark is a very powerful tool that is going to really tax uh, the graphics card and push it to 100 percent usage and this will also raise the temperature of the graphics card and normally this is when you're going to start to see artifacting, flickering, glitches happening on the screen. If you see any of this stuff, you can stop the test immediately. That means your graphics card is starting to fail. And uh, this is an important step to make sure your card is not failing. Now, again, you do run this at your own risk. It is quite a powerful tool, 
And if your card is on the edge and having some sort of issues and you start pushing it with this tool, it can actually cause the card to uh, have major problems. So be very careful uh, when you're using this particular type of software because this is what we call GPU stress testing. And this is what uh, overclockers will use to make sure the stability is there on their overclocks. And again, what we're using it for is to make sure the card is stable and it's working correctly. Choose the correct resolution. You can give it some anti-aliasing if you wish, because obviously we want to push the card to see whether there's any sort of issues here. And once you've done this, you can run it full screen if you wish. I like to leave that unchecked so I can close it down quickly if there's any sort of issues. I also like to go in here and check the settings. Now, the reason why I want to go into settings because I want to make sure the GPU temperature alarm is set. This is the maximum GPU temperature in Celsius. 100 is too high. That would obviously crash the card at 100 Celsius. You can set yours to whatever you like for your card uh, and just make sure you don't have this too high. So probably around about 80, uh, 83, 84 or 80, something like that will probably be enough. So I'm going to put this at 80 and it will then start to throttle at probably about 83, 84 for this particular card. So this will set the alarm at 80 Celsius. It shouldn't get anywhere near there because this is a very good card. This is a MSI RTX 2070 Super Gaming X Trio, which has free fans on it. So we're going to run the test. And what we're looking out for here is we're going to run this for around about 10 minutes. And we're going to let the card get a little bit hot and see whether the uh, screen starts to flicker. If you see any glitching or flickering or any of that sort of stuff on here, any artifacting and the temperature goes right up really high, then there's probably a problem with your card. Now we're looking here at the, uh, the actual temperatures here. And you can see the temperatures on this one. I've leave, leaving it for a while and you can see it's at 68. So it's well within its capabilities. But do keep an eye on those temperatures and make sure it doesn't go too high. And if it does start to show any sort of flickering or any of that stuff on the screen, then there's probably a problem with your card and you will need to investigate further. Again, don't overdo these things with this particular software because it will stress your card quite a bit. And this is a good way of detecting issues with your card. GPU Z gives you information about the card itself and how old the card is. If you've bought the card second hand, maybe the card is failing or it was sold uh, to you under false pretenses and you've now bought a bit of a lemon. So just bear that in mind. I now know that this card is working perfectly fine and it was probably a software issue. And hopefully that uninstallation and reinstallation of the graphics driver is going to resolve the issue. So I've checked for updates. Everything is working okay. I've checked their website to see whether there was a known glitch and it does show that other people link in the video description have had the same glitch that I got, which was a tiny flickering at the bottom of the screen when you was pushing down on the taskbar there. I should have probably recorded the error with my phone instead of using Camtasia because Camtasia never picked the error up. But as you can see here, also go into your div, uh, display settings here and make sure that your display settings are set correctly for the resolution. And uh, you can see here display is 1920 by uh, 1080. That's what this monitor is. And you can go uh, into your graphics card here and reset all of your settings the way you like them. Make sure the refresh rate is set to the correct refresh rate on uh, your display settings here. So let me just quickly go in here. These are 144 hertz each. Uh, so I need to make sure that both of these are set correctly. You can do that by coming down into the advanced display here and go in here and you should see the ratio here. So if it's set to 60 hertz and yours can do 144 and then put it on 144 and do that for both of the monitors. If you've got two monitors, if you've only got one, then just make sure you've got it to the highest refresh rate and that should resolve the issue. Anyway, I'll leave any sort of information and links in the video description for you so you can take a look at it. It is a little glitch that goes along the bottom and uh, I actually thought my graphics card was starting to fail, uh, but you know, it just turns out to be a software issue. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group and a special shout out goes to my tier three YouTube members, Edward Kelly, RTX Brody, Gary Capic, PC Repair Tech, Vitality, 
and also Fields Computer Repair, Ron Hicks, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam and Welsh Tony One. Really do appreciate the support, guys. It's great to be back, and I shall see you again in the next video. If you want to chat, jump on our Discord server, and I'll be happy to have a chat with you over there. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.